Hey everybody, I just got this box in from Toronto, Canada, and inside this box is a Diora Sky Show, a beautiful Diora Sky Show. I'm going to open this box and we're going to look inside and see if it's everything I hoped it would be. Let's get started now. All right, I've got the top of the box open, you know, and as I was text messaging back and forth with the person, it was kind of a weird deal because the person who had this to sell and the person who was preparing it to sell, I think we're brothers. And uh, as you know, I have a terrible memory for things like that. All I remember is that this is a Dior Sky show. That's the important thing. But they showed me all these pictures of getting it ready, and it was so sophisticated and so complicated and so nice that it was hard to believe it was actually true that they would do all this work, but they did. Here we go. Let's dig in and see what we've got. I think there's something in here. There's a lot of black tape, heavy-duty black tape. And look at this. We've got a circle and a square. Bingo. More and more stuff. And then we've got... Oh my goodness, I don't even know if I'm going to be able to get this out right here with one hand. Nope, not going to be able to get it out with one hand. Turn off the camera, get this out, wrestle it out. Okay, this is what I found in the box. Sky Show is in here, and the airplanes, I believe, are in these items here. And there's a decal sheet as well, a uh, water slide decal sheet. So I'm going to open these up and reveal what's in there, but it's going to take... Two hands and some finesse to get these things open. Here we go. All right, I got the first thing open, the black tape folder. And what we find there is a Sky Show instructions in French and English. I don't think I've seen this before. This is pretty cool. It's really nice shape too, really nice. And a decal sheet with just one Hot Wheels decal taken out. But otherwise, it's a complete decal sheet. Beautiful condition. We'll put that over there. And now, let's dig into these guys. These are planes. And this is the truck. Let's get that truck open. Boy, oh boy, look at that. Isn't that nice? That's pretty. The Aura Sky Show. Got nice paint on the back. Look at that. Nice ramp, just a little dust on it really is about all there is to it. Just a little dust on the ramp. Definitely a keeper. Diora Sky Show. These are tough. They only issued these in Canada for some reason. Has a special ramp on it. And it has rivets to hold it onto the back. It's got sort of a formed plastic base here and then the top of the ramp which this ramp is different than a standard Sky Show ramp. It's the one that you can also shoot the Zopters off of. So it's got that, those two little marks there, there, and there. I think, isn't this part different here too? That little bumpy round? Let's take a look at it in the Ultimate Red Line Guide. All right. This is from the uh, new uh, Red Line Guide. The Mattel officially named the model the Aero Launcher Diora. Oh, Aero Launcher Diora. I didn't know that. It was ex issued exclusively for the Sky Show track set and for the Canadian market only. Collectors generally refer to this model as the Sky Show Diora, probably because of much more common Aero Launcher fleet side, which is commonly referred to as the Sky Show fleet side. Hmm, Aero Launcher. How interesting is that? So the, uh, okay, let's go on. The, this model shares the same body as the 68 Hong Kong Diora, but was modified to accommodate an orange ramp, which is supported by an orange base. The ramp on this model is not removable as it is permanently attached to the vehicle's truck bed with two rivets, one brass and one silver. Unlike the Aero Launcher Fleet Side, aka the Sky Show Fleet Side, the angle of the ramp on the Aero Launcher Diora is fixed, not adjustable. Three different color planes were issued with the model, blue, green, and yellow. A special decal sheet was also issued, which included Hot Wheels logos to apply to the planes and the truck. An assortment of designs and flames to be applied to the wings and a rectangular label with Sky Show printed on it surrounded by a checkerboard design to apply to each side of the truck. There are two slots 
on top of the ramp that secure a plane. Once you attach the rubber band to the very front of the ramp and to the front clip on the bottom of the plane, you are ready for takeoff. There is a track piece called the launch trigger, or, yeah, launch trigger, what do I call it? The trigger track, which is exclusive to the Sky Show set, and when the truck runs over the launch trigger, it releases the plane and sends it flying into the air. A collector button was not issued for this model. The values listed are for a complete aero launcher, which includes the vehicle with properly placed decals and the ramp. Very nice. Now, purple is, uh, here we've got... 1350 mint loose. I paid pretty close to that. And uh, 1850 for purple, so that's quite a bit harder. I don't see too many purple ones at all. And then here's the planes, decal sheet, and whatnot. And then, of course, here's the Sky Show. And here's that thing I was telling you about the bumps on the ramp. Sky Show ramp, Flying Circus ramp, is the one that has the zopter. It's called the Flying Circus. Let's see, is there a picture here? There's the decal sheet. There's the Aero Launcher fleet side, which comes in a wide variety of colors that uh, in the US and interesting the zopter I suppose uh, that's pictured somewhere else in the book let's look it up okay here's a picture of the box set for the flying circus which included the zopter and zopter launcher hmm very interesting that's a one France top US on bottom for the flying circus I've only had one of those in 30 years. And then here's the Sky Show sets. Ah, here's the Canadian issue Sky Show box. Very interesting. I don't know if I've ever seen one of those. And then the two Sky Show sets, US issues, two different color variations on that. It's pretty cool with the blue background, which I have seen, and the brown background. Not sure I've seen that. So much interesting stuff. Now let's take a look at the planes. Hey everybody, I'm back after a little bit of a break. Had to go do some errands. Now, <clears throat> now it's time to dig into these packages. Very well packaged. The guy took a lot of effort to make sure these airplanes would get here okay. And let's see, are we on the right side? I don't know. I don't know. These are amazingly packaged in here, aren't they? It's crazy with all this tape and everything. It's real thoughtful. It's real nice. And here we go, here we go. Wow, I don't even know what kind of tape this is actually. Very heavy, very heavy, heavy man. All right, here we go. I think we got it open. No, no, I guess, are they just buried down in there? I guess they are. All right, here we go. Oh, look at that little yellow plane. Look at that, it's a perfect plane. A perfect plane. Is there just one in there? I think there was just three planes. Maybe there was only two, I don't remember. Okay, I've got another one here. Check it out. Here we go. I can tell these people have a dog. There's a dog hair there and a dog hair there and a dog hair everywhere. They get all into everything, don't they? Little dogs. I never had a dog myself. I like dogs. I like to visit them, play with them, but I don't think I could. Since I work at home, it would be weird having a dog following me around all day, all day. Follow, follow, follow. All right, here we go. Looks like there are maybe... Oh, here's another yellow plane. Yes, yellow plane. Look at that. Look at the work it went into this. This is great. This is great. Now, what I would do if I was shipping this, I would just put it in a box, a separate box by itself. Nice and safe. And let's see. How is that? Is that messed up a little bit? Sometimes they get bent a little bit. You know, they're not built that well, really. It was a little crooked on the nose there. But there's two of them. That's great. And here is another one, a little blue plane. I've never had a, well, I, actually I do have some planes this perfect because it came in a sealed set. I have one sealed Sky Show set. Ah, there's the green plane, the very ever popular, most popular green plane. A little bit of dirt on there. Look at that, how pretty that is. All right, we've got four planes. I think that's all the planes. Yes, yes. Possibly. I will double check, but I believe that is the number of planes included in this set. <clears throat> All right, well, I got you here. Let's take another look at the sticker sheet and let's compare it with the reproduction sticker sheet, which I have a pile of somewhere close by. There they are. Hey, look at that. Somebody in Portland made these. I believe it was Portland in my hometown because. 
The person I got these from was from a collectible store. And we did a lot of business over the years. That's how I got my start in the buying and selling of Hot Wheels and Matchbox for the collectible store here in Portland. Not my store, but one I bought things from. But anyway, I got, yeah, Sky Show decals still left over. I had 100 of them at one time. They actually don't sell very well, honestly. But they're super cool. But the way you can tell the originals from the from the reproduction is it's pretty obvious. I mean, you, you just look at it right there. You can see that this is a good set. It's nice for display, but it's not clear at all. And the sky shows up in the air right there. And this, look at that. Isn't that beautiful right there? And it's got the Mattel printed on there. It's so nice. Isn't that nice? That's really nice. And one thing I could tell you about decal sheets is if you see any dark marks on it don't try to clean it off with water <laughs> it is a water slide decal does anybody know if say you had a little spot there and you wanted to clean it off a decal sheet is there any way to do it i don't think there is but if you know of a way please leave comments below i think we'll just leave this as it is look at that cut decal sheet as needed there we go dip into warm water for a few minutes slide decal off paper and into position on toy Gently dab with tissue to remove excess water and air bubbles let dry. Very nice. All right. And if you need any of these, they are just $10. $10 for a decal sheet. Or uh, probably, yeah, probably. I could send this in an envelope, too. Probably. So $10 and no postage. All right. That's good. All right. And this is the original, which is not for sale. It is not. It goes in a set, which I have a set in the back. I had a sealed set that I opened. It's pretty cool. All right. You know, I think I have a couple of more Sky Shows. Let's look at them. Aha. There is the Sky Show. This particular one is Rose, and that came out of this box, which was sealed when I got it. So that one is brand spanking new. And there's purple. Look at that purple. That is nice. I don't remember where I got that. I've had it for a while. Oops not in focus purple i think there are more than that all right here is a blue sky show blue sky show and a gold sky show and a red sky show how cool is that i know i just got a new blue one in too that might be better than this one but this one has the original decals on it which are not very good oh this one's got fake wheels on it for crying out loud that is not very good at all, but it has a real ramp on it. Yep, it's a real ramp. And the way you tell it's a real ramp is you look at this, wait a minute, whoa, 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 whoa. Maybe that's not a real ramp, actually. Because when this little ball is perfectly centered, that's not a real ramp. And when it's off-centered, it is a real ramp. So that's probably a fake ramp, but it's pretty cool. And gold, well, got a dull base, but it's that's pretty nice. That's really nice. You don't see gold very often. And that is original decal, nice, and this red, which is really nice, although it does feel like it has a dent in the roof. Kind of feels like it. Nice base on that one. That's pretty cool. And while we're there, look at the Red Baron. All right, Red Baron, I love that thing. Here's a Red Baron, too. Tom Daniels, Red Baron. I love the Red Baron, especially this one. Look how big that is. Whoa, that's big. Cool. All right. Well, I think that's all I have for you today for the uh, Hot Wheels Sky Show. The Sky Show Diora, or otherwise known in the book as Aero Launcher Diora. Anyway, Dave Williams and Toy Car Collector, thanks for watching. Be sure to leave your comments below and subscribe if you haven't already. And leave your comments below. I said that already. But anyway, I'm out. Bye.